this trouble. My name is Sheila Nadio Duarisbeck. I was the award winner for P5, the March 2017 sitting. Um, and I, I was also 12 globally. I work at PricewaterhouseCoopers. My name is Daniel Duodo. Um, I won the award, so overall best affiliate uh, for the March 2017 sitting. And also uh, P4 Advanced Financial Management award winner for March 2017 as well. My name is Ivanana Sabia Pini. I work at Wesley International School for Corrigia and I won this award for a 5 Performance Management 2016, September September. My name is Lena Ruhia Saini. I work with Ensa Young, UI Ghana, and I'm here today. I received the P1 Award for the March 2017 session. My name is Nana Esi Bensuma Bensu. I am the top scorer for P4 September 2016 and the overall best affiliate for September 2016. I work at Deloitte, Ghana. My name is Enedo Suansa. I'm the second top affiliate for the September 2016 exam setting, and I work at Deloitte and Tush. My name is Nano Seitutubonsu, and I'm award winner for F7, financial reporting, for December City. And I'm currently doing my national service at Kempong Group of Companies. So I'm Mami Chowa Entry. And I was the best performing student for F5 in December sitting. And I currently work with Deloitte and Tushkana. My name is Kojo Nyama Boaten, an award winner for F7 September 2016. And I work at Boaten of Fair Co. I was just going to a washroom and I got an email. So I checked and I saw I had two emails. Then I saw the, um, the heading. Uh, award winner for P4 and I saw the second one overall best affiliate I was like oh my gosh I couldn't believe it I, I honestly didn't expect it so I'm most grateful to God uh, that these awards came my way well it was my final paper so I was I don't know how to describe but I was super excited I I got it at work I was at work and I got this email so I just checked my phone and then it's like congratulations you have won I was like okay okay I just started like making a I just kept saying okay okay wow wow and my the person sitting by me was asking what's wrong what's wrong they actually thought there was something wrong and I showed it to him and then <laughs> the rest of the day was just a blur I don't I don't rem I don't remember working that day I was just on cloud nine it was a very exciting feeling yeah I didn't really believe it so I had to ask my sister to confirm what I was seeing on my phone and I was shouting oh my god oh my god and crying it was nice <laughs> I was quite shocked actually because with, when I started the professional exams I knew that it was going to be tough with a lot of competition so my intention was to pass and pass well but I didn't expect to win an award so it was an amazing feeling. When I received the mail I was very shocked first of all and then after a while it set in and it dawned on me I was extremely excited and I actually couldn't work the whole day. Yeah it was very serious. <laughs> I was very, very shocked. I was shocked, proud. I was, I was surprised. I wasn't expecting it. But I guess that if you work hard and you give everything your best, things like this will always come your way. And I thank God for this success. It, I was very surprised. It was exciting. But even before it got exciting, I was, I didn't believe the mail. I was, I, I didn't. Even, I was sitting there, and then a colleague called that I should check my mail and that his friends are getting new, so I should check. I said, what should I do? When I checked, I saw ACCA prize win or something. Then I went back to the inbox, then I opened again. Then I read and I saw my name. And I said, okay, it is for me. Then I just jumped. I was at the office at that time. The clients were all looking at me. Then I started calling anybody and everybody because I know like, getting a prize is like a big deal. So I was, I was very excited. Oh, I was amazed to be frank. Um, when, as soon as I saw the mail, I, I wasn't so sure. I was like, is this a joke? Like, where is this from? Because um, this was my first paper, so I didn't really know much about that there was a prize winning. I knew about the overall best in the world, yeah, but I didn't know he gave the country. So I looked at the domain and I realized from the cool from ACC, and I was like, maybe it's possible. But I finally believed when I was invited to the office. That was when I was satisfied that, yes, I believe. It was more than a surprise. I was at work and I got a mail. So I had to I double check, double check, double check, and to check to see if 
it wasn't a spam message and I didn't have an accounting background so when I won F7 I, I, was, I, was, I was surprised, I never thought about it. So I started um, learning at Geokunium from my F9 paper. So from F9 to um, P7, I did it all at Geokunium. I must say that as compared to the rest of the tuition providers I had been with, Geokunium's method of teaching was extremely on a higher level because they made sure you understood whatever it is that they were teaching you and apply it. It was an application-based learning and it was worth it, worth the experience. Okay, so um, Duke Williams has been my preferred um, learning tuition provider because um, all the papers that I took with them, they went about in a very professional manner. Um, aside the tuition, even the um, other support, because when you go there you can buy books, you, can, you get other resources. Um, you also, um, the teachers, you can always like maybe send Duke or William a message and ask them about something they've thought. So every single, uh, it's not just P5 that I took there, but every single paper that I took there, I had a good experience. And then even the ambience, you have a very good um, good learning environment. Like I really enjoyed my time at Duke Williams. Okay, with Duke Williams, when, when I got there the first day, my first reaction was, oh my gosh, I should have come here from the start. Um, I appreciated the way they had structured their um, timetable and everything seemed to flow in a logical manner. Um, they give you um, notes and they also give you a revision kit which, for which they've already answered the questions and I found that really useful because you didn't have to take notes when you're in, when you're in class. Um, another thing with uh, the P3 which I took with, um, with William was that he gave us a strategy to go about the P3 paper. I think that was a game changer because um, before I came for that P3 revision, I had no idea how I was going to take the P3 paper. But with just a two-day, it was just a two-day um, revision class, and it made a world of difference. I was studying with another tuition provider when I filled F7. Yes, so I decided to switch, and I started with Duke Williams. And from then to date, I've not filled any paper, and I have to be more professional. First of all, I think like they are a very good tuition provider. I've done F5, the one I won with. I did F8 revision because they were clashing with F5. And I did F7. Different tutors, but they all have like unique teaching styles. What I like about them is, I've been to other teaching providers, I don't need to mention, but normally they'll probably teach the topics, but don't do alongside examinable questions. So you get the topic perfectly, but when you get to the question bank, it's like you haven't learned. But the way they structure this one, you know, as you're learning the topic, they merge it with the questions and everything. So it makes you pick the techniques and everything, which is, and they have time out of like working hours and everything, whether you are serious or not. So I think that's like a plus. That's what helped me. The Korean learning experience, it wasn't just a classroom experience where you are taught and then you have to go and do the rest of the work yourself. We had access to resources. There's a comprehensive website where we could actually go. We had Class WhatsApp group pages with that, where we could um, interact with our instructors. They gave us help at any time. Once your question is there, the instructors would respond. So I think it was it was a very good experience. It went beyond the normal classroom learning. The Williams has, has been a great help. It's been a wonderful place to study. I first came into contact with Duke Williams um, last year. We were doing a free tuition revision um, at Legon, and I decided to take advantage because previously a lot of people have been suggesting. So I said, okay, let me find out. So when I went there, what I fell in love about the place was how they delivered the tuition, how they taught us how to answer the questions. I really liked the approach they used. It wasn't just about the knowledge, yes, but how to tackle the questions, how to plan your work. And I think that is what got me this prize. Not just knowing my, my syllabus, but how I, I plan my my people. Oh, the program is excellent. It's holistic. It's just excellence. Um, the notes are excellent. Um, the teaching is excellent. The effort is excellent. I, I, I don't really go to the text, but I use the notes and then the, uh, the notes provided by the programs, then follow on the revision kit to learn. So the, the notes is my underpins my, my, my success. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'd say is that ACCA, the ACCA journey is not easy. Neither is it impossible. All one has to do is to just decide that this is what I'm going to do and this is 
how far I'm going to take it. Like with that in mind, every decision you make is going to be geared towards succeeding and passing your exam. So with hard work, determination, you can do it. Um, what I can tell them is that they should be patient. I mean, ACCA is not an easy um, exam. It's, it's quite difficult, so you need to be patient and just go through it step by step. Um, for the P's, well, the advice is that take it one at a time. If, if you're not comfortable doing two or three, you can take it one at a time. And um, one thing that really worked for me was mock exams. I took as many mock exams as, as, was, uh, as was possible. Uh, that, I believe, helped me a lot. I would say ACCA is, 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 is challenging, but if you put your mind to it, you can do it. But to be an a prize winner or an award winner, or to keep consistently passing your paper, I would say you need to have a strategy. You need to have a technique you are going to use to pass this paper. And some of these things, maybe if you are self, you are self steady you may not have all the exposure. So sometimes you get, if you get into contact with an experienced um, tuition provider, such as Dupilian, you can give you some of these things that you may not get if you are doing it alone, but in all, uh, it's been a great experience. And Our advice, if you have the time, just get a little tuition, psych the mind, come back, and then do your study. It really, really helps. You should motivate yourself. You should do more of everything. Study more. Always go for the lectures, um, practice so many questions, pray more, pray more, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, my, my approach is holistic. Um, God is at the centre, glory be to God and it's just by the grace of God. Then after I plan and discipline, I work at the same time. So whilst I'm performing, I have to perform here. So generally, if I'm able to finish my work by five, I take one hour, I can just sleep or just relax. Six, I start, six to nine, I study. Revision kits answer, read. And then my Saturdays and Sundays, I don't joke with it. So I hardly really go out, but I know that later on, I can go out as much as I want. Yes, so it's a lot of discipline and a lot of hard work. Yeah. So um, what I would say is that um, you just have to be very persistent because most of the time, it's not just about knowing the material, but it's also about being able to solve the questions the way the examiner wants it. And that's what most of us don't get. We just read the topics and we think we are fine. But if you don't try your hands on the past questions, you will never know if you've really gotten there. And then I think another thing is time management. If you don't, so it comes back to past questions. If you don't solve questions and that time environment, you think you know it, but you get there and then you get constrained on the time. Next thing you know, it's one hour more. You have two more questions and means you're almost finished because it's really at the professional level. So, and um, also I think um, reading the examiner's um, um, comments also help because they teach you the things that people are doing wrong and what you can do right. And then um, personally, when I went for the classes at Duke Williams, um, for P5 especially, Duke had this um, point, he was telling us that you don't just read the question, you read the, when even you're reading the scenario, there are questions in there. So sometimes it helps for you to get a professional to help you because they know how the examiner thinks. And you might not get that from just reading, you can know everything, but then you might not get that from reading just the um, material. So I think if you want to win an award, you have to go an extra step, be persistent, solve questions, like have that can-do attitude, and then it'll be fine. Jupilance is the best. 